Hey y'all, I'm Melissa Guerra. I'm the Kitchen Wrangler and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I share all of the recipes from here in South Texas. And this week we are making Mexican hot chocolate because the holidays are coming up. I always love a good hot cup of Mexican chocolate and I'm sure you would as well. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started on our Mexican hot chocolate. Well, what exactly does make it Mexican hot chocolate? How is this different from all those other hot chocolates that are on the market? Mexican hot chocolate is always flavored with a little sugar and a little cinnamon. That's what makes it Mexican hot chocolate. But why does it have cinnamon? The native plant for chocolate, the, where chocolate comes from, is a plant called Theobroma cacao, and it is absolutely native to the Republic of Mexico. So wherever there were these large chocolate plantations, and you know, this is still the case, there would be chocolate shops where you could take your freshly grown chocolate, and they would make the mixture, they would make the molienda that you preferred. So you could add cinnamon, you could add cloves, you could add more sugar or less sugar, you could add chile, another native plant of Mexico. So you could add whatever flavors that your family liked. So one of the absolute most authentic aspects of Mexican chocolate is that you fix it the way you like it, that you can absolutely custom make your Mexican chocolate to the way that you like. Another distinctive characteristic of Mexican chocolate is that it's a little bit grainy and gritty, and that's the way that it should be. The way that chocolate is ground in Mexico, it's not a very fancy process. The chocolate is harvested, it's dried, it's ripened and then it's ground. It's a very rustic process. Once the Swiss and the Belgians and the Germans and the French and the Spanish got a hold of chocolate, then they took it back to Europe and they figured out ways to make chocolate really smooth and velvety and they made it into candy. But the original way of enjoying chocolate in Mexico is in a beverage. Most hot chocolates are made with milk and you can definitely do that if they that's what you like. But let's think about it. The original tribes of Mexico, they probably would not have used milk because cows are not from the Americas. They are from the old world, they're from Africa. So the original tribes here, you know, along the border, Mexico, they would not have had cow's milk. So they would have made their chocolate with water. And that's the way that I'm going to do it today because I don't drink that much milk. The water version for me is really delicious and you don't even miss the milk. But if you like, you can always use dairy milk, you can use plant milk, you can use whatever you like. But this is the way that I like it, which is just with plain water. The one element that absolutely is the authentic element, absolutely the authentic element of Mexican chocolate is a little head of foam, kind of like a beer. <laughs> <laughs> it has a little head of foam. Occasionally, you'll even come across drawings of the original tribes of Mexico, and they have one cup of chocolate up high, and then they have another cup down on the floor, and they are pouring, they're aerating the chocolate so that they can get that little head of foam. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. The perfect ratio for making a good cup of chocolate is 100 grams of chocolate to one liter of either either water or milk. Now I know in the US we're not too metric here, but trust me, this is a really easy way to remember how to mix up your chocolate. I'm gonna boil some water on the stove and I'm gonna pour it into a measuring cup that holds about a liter of liquid. I'm gonna add my tablet of chocolate and I'm gonna let it melt very slowly. Most people heat the water on the stove and then add the chocolate and let it boil. But you know, chocolate is very delicate and you can actually scorch it. So I like to kind of reverse engineer it, pour the water into a measuring cup, and then just let the chocolate melt very slowly and relax. Once the chocolate has completely melted, I'm gonna use my immersion blender and that works so well to get that little head of foam. Look at that, look at all of those bubbles. And let me tell you, those bubbles, they hang around for a while. They don't disappear very quickly. So immersion blenders for me is the top recommendation that I can give you. 
for making that gorgeous little head of foam. Some of you may be familiar with molinillos, which is a wooden aerator that you find all throughout Latin America. And yes, by all means, you can definitely use those, but you can't use them in every container. It really doesn't work with my liter measuring cup, as you can see. I've got liquid going all over the place. But these molinillos, they were really made to be used with a narrow topped clay pot. And in that way, you can whip the chocolate very quickly. And because of the narrow top of the pot, you don't have chocolate flying all over the place. But all that said, let me tell you, my electric immersion blender, it absolutely beat these wooden aerators. Uh, but I have about four or five of these molinillos and I just love them. One of them is my grandmother's. In fact, the one I think I'm using is my grandmother's. I like having them around the house, but if I really want to get that little head of foam on the chocolate, I'm using my electric immersion blender. Well, that's it for making our Mexican hot chocolate. It was pretty easy, but now you have all of the backstory so you know exactly what makes Mexican hot chocolate authentic. And you know, if you have any questions about any food, you can always email me at help at kitchenwrangler.com or you can message me through Facebook, through Instagram, through YouTube, through TikTok, through Twitter. I am all over the place and I am always looking forward to hearing from you. I'm Melissa Guerra, I'm the Kitchen Wrangler and I'm looking forward to seeing you here at the ranch again soon. Bye now.